This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to a new setting and a new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. This week coming to you from, I almost said live, this week coming to you from uh, Houston, Texas. We're out visiting with the daughter and uh, making some contacts out here. we got some exciting things lined up for 2019 that uh, will include Houston. So uh, you guys be uh, be sure and stay tuned for that. Listen, if you are uh, watching this as as the bug, I think it'll be up here in this corner, the bug says this is a replay or was previously recorded, but I am live in the comments. So go ahead and leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you are here. That's always encouraging to see and hear from you guys, even when I am doing it this way. I do it this way because at home... I can make as much noise as I want at 7 o'clock in the morning here. God, i got to keep, you know, tamp it down a little bit. So go ahead and leave me that comment. And if you happen to be listening to the podcast on your favorite podcast catcher or watching somewhere other than Facebook Live, be sure and join us. Head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com to get to the right page where you can leave a comment and say good morning. So it is Monday of Thanksgiving week. And what better to talk about the week of Thanksgiving than gratitude? Now, uh, I'm going to take a different tack on it this week than maybe you've heard others take on it. So stick with me here uh, as we go through the week. Today, what I want to talk about is why it's important to practice gratitude. Now, I know I've mentioned to you many times that, um, that I use just a regular composition book. That's my journal. That's where I'm, I write every day. Um, and in fact, some days it's short. Kind of like that. And some days, uh, it's much longer. Let me find one of those long days. There you go. Some days it's much longer. It looks like that. The, but every day I start with the same line. Today I am grateful for. And it's just a reminder to be grateful. Now here's why. This is why this is so important. I want you to, to think of it. You're going to have some good homework to take away from this today. When we begin, when, when we are thinking about what we are grateful for, that is an outbound emotion. We are pushing that out away from us. Okay? We're, but that's, we're radiating that out. It is impossible. It is impossible to be selfish and grateful at the same time. Kind of like it's impossible for it to be light and dark at the same time. Either it's light or it's dark. Either you are grateful, either you're in a grateful state, a state of gratitude, or you are in a selfish state. So when we have 99.999% of the problems that we experience in life originate from an attitude of selfishness. Now, when we have such an easy way to overcome that and to redirect that energy towards something that improves our day rather than something that challenges the quality of our day, don't you think that's an easy, uh, an easy thing to do? And sometimes it's an easy decision to do that. Now, the next part is sometimes it's difficult. I mean, you talk about an attitude of gratitude. Sometimes, sometimes you can be having a really bad day. Maybe a couple, of, a couple of days strung together. Now, maybe those are the result of some expectations. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But in the event that you're having a couple of tough days strung together, that's not a problem. You can be grateful for having today as the first day to do over, or the, not, the, not to do over, but to, to do anew. You don't have to be defined by yesterday. You can define today. And by because I am starting the day today and I have the opportunity to define a new day, 
then I should be grateful for that. So there's a great quote here, and you may have heard me uh, mention this before. The last page of every journal uh, has this poem from Chief Tecumseh, and the first page has my vision of what I'm trying to build. Um, but here's what I want to here's what I want to point out. This Chief Tecumseh was a uh, um, Cherokee. Is he a Cherokee chief? I don't, know. I don't remember. I'll look that up and and uh, point that out tomorrow. But he wrote this uh, sometime in the early 1800s, among other things. He says, when you rise in the morning, give thanks for the food and the joy of living. If you can find no reason to give thanks, the fault lies only in yourself. Now, a couple of things I want to point out there. When you rise in the morning, do this the first thing in the morning. Right now. And and, and that's one of the reasons I like doing this show early. You got to get up to watch the show. You got to begin the day. You have to control the day. Right? If you get up, if you set your alarm 30 minutes before you're supposed to leave the house, what's the likelihood of creating a crisis? Waking up and beginning the day in crisis, very high. But if you leave yourself a couple of hours before you have to leave the house, first of all, you can avert crisis, but you also have the opportunity to begin the day from quiet in this attitude of gratitude. So in the morning, when you rise in the morning, give thanks. Maybe you do it before you even get out of bed. Right? And, and, and well, we'll get to that this week. Give thanks for food and the joy of living. We are an obese nation. No shortage of food. Right? And, and look, the joy of living is the other thing Next to last thing I want to point out there, just the fact that you're alive. That's what I was saying earlier. It means you have an opportunity to define a new day. And then the final thought for today, if you can find no reason to give thanks, then you're looking, you're a negative Nancy. Don't be a negative Nancy. There's always something positive. Thanks for the flat tire, right? It gave me a chance to avoid traffic. It gave me a chance to learn how to change a tire. I mean, there's always something. Thank you for the spare. Thank you for the tow truck that came to fix my flat. There's always something to be thankful for. And when we focus on that, remember, focus is the application of time, energy, and attention. When we focus on finding what we can be grateful for, we cannot focus on ourselves. All right? So what are you going to be thankful for today? Leave that down in the comments. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I would love for you to turn on some of your friends and your network to this, uh, this series of videos this week. Um, it, it's a time where we have some pre-programmed downtime. There's going to be a lot of traveling going on, a lot of road trips. So lots of opportunities for people to spend, you know, 20 or 30 minutes watching these shows. Um, and, and hopefully I'm going to do them all week. I'll have one <coughs> five days this week. Uh, hopefully something valuable will be in there. Share it with the people in your network. They will appreciate you for doing that. I appreciate you for sharing so much that I'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, probably do all of these kind of tape delayed like I'm doing mine this time. But remember, even though it says up here is pre-recorded, I'm still live down in the comments. Leave your comment down there. Say hi and uh, let us know what you're going to be thankful for, grateful for today as you begin the day. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon.